Wow, thumbs. That was some top stuff. Getting one of the fastest shadows runs out of nowhere on a mystic? Very inspiring. This motivates me to become a better player and push forward. Like you top the fearsome shadows, I will conquer the snake pit. Hello guys, Hyperion here back with another video and as you probably guessed from the title and it's yeah, it's just obvious, I have now got the fastest snake pit ever. I will narrate my grind to get in the fastest snake pit, talking about technique and how I improved myself. If you want to just skip to the fastest snake pit there is, jump right here. Anyways, what was the fastest current snake pit before? In the speedrunners discord, it's Carnarvon with a 19.519 second run. As you can see here, he used a warrior with a potato, and of course Mercy's Bane and Pixie for DPS. But my guildy Hepe got the newer record with 19.319 seconds using only an archer. Very cheeky choice. So he rushes with the ST Quiver of Shrieking Spectres and takes advantage of the piercing Coral Bow to go through the hallways quicker and then swaps to the Void Bow, one of the best DPS bows, and Void Quiver which does enormous instantaneous damage to take down the boss. So he beat Carnarvon by 200 milliseconds. By the way, I just want to talk about this one interesting record. This used to be the number one. It's by Teh Jilpu, he's now third place, well he's, he was third place, and he's done a 20 second snake pit on a damn wizard. No speed needed, which is absolutely insane. He has the smoothest run, and finishes Stena off really easy with the Jade Storm. Fun fact, this wizard was a PPE I re-edited a while back. What can be learned from his speed run is it's not all about the speediness. Well, it kinda is, but... Shut up. It's about your confidence and not hesitating. Those little hesitating movements during the run cost you near seconds, which is the difference between you getting the fastest snake pit to like... 30 second fastest snake pit. No joke, there's a plethora of 20 second snake pits. Okay, your history lesson is now over peeps. Now to the story of how I beat this record myself. My initial game plan was a ninja. Why? Because Hepe's archer is much slower. Same goes with Carnarvon's warrior. So I get a significant speed advantage. Tricksters aren't so good here and you will need to walk and find the walls. Teleporting is far too clunky to utilize in the snake pit. My set to rush with was leaf hide and potato to get a solid 72 speed, doubled with speedy and then switched to blade of assailant and used berserk from the star of enlightenment to quickly nab down the boss. Right as I started looking for a snake pit, nana bag reminded me of my stacked mystic, which I completely forgot about. This should be the better option as it has speedy and one of the strongest weapons in all of realm the Staff of Unholy Sacrifice, which will absolutely pound the boss, especially when the Misty can curse the enemy and give itself damaging and berserk. So I began rushing. Ah, uh, what the hell? Okay, that's a fail. Let's do this. That is a scary map. Is it up or is it left? Uh, you need a timer though? No, I don't. I, 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 just, I just have to record it and then slap a timer on top. While rushing, I was thinking about which weapon was better for clearing, the cold staff or the spirit staff. A conflict. So slow. Oh my god, I sucked up. I sucked up so hard in that. Anyways, just in case, we're gonna check it. We conflict in. One, two. Ah, oh, there. See, see, my my T6 orb didn't swap just then. That's why it's a bit annoying. So, we rush in. Two, one. You yeah, see, it it didn't swap. Are you serious? It's not swapping. And I remember that piercing is much more helpful in taking down the snake pit walls, even with reduced rate of fire. This is stuffed up. I, I, I feel a bit disoriented with this cult stuff, honestly. Man's in a practice game. Hmm, that was really slow. That was really, really slow. I felt like my boss killing was quite clunky by the looks of it. I started to doubt my DPS, and I had issues swapping orbs as well. So I decided to take it to the DPS calculator. Remember, I will generally be hitting three shots on the boss with cult stuff. 
But as you can see here, the max DPS buffed warrior beats a conflict mystic. But as soon as Berserk and Curse is involved, the mystic's DPS goes sky high and smashes the warrior. So the problem wasn't my mystic's DPS, it was my confidence. What do I mean by that? I had issues going near the boss and setting up in time, mainly focusing on trying not to sit on it so I don't die. So to fix this, my focus was just to take the boss slow, which is ironic given that I'm speedrunning. But the boss has a fairly sizable invulnerability duration of just AFK dancing, so it's enough time to swap and think through. And finally, Ah, sat on it for a bit. Ah, oh, no, I screwed it up there. I ended up with a crazy 18.8 second snake pit. 18.8, the record to beat was 19.3, and I beat it by over a huge 1 second, which is absolutely crazy. Let's analyze my run. I came across a few bumps here and there and was a bit hesitant as you can see here, but I feel what made me get the winning run was the boss fight. It was straight optimal, I had my pet on the boss, I had it cursed, I had damaging and berserk on myself, and most importantly I fluked the perfect range next to boss to land all 4 shots, which means my mystic had a damage output of 11,649 damage per second. Combined with my pet, this boss got pulverized. You wanna know how much DPS that is actually? I'll give you some reference. So. Yeah, this priest does 1,800 DPS, so we're kind of like 5 priests combined, that's how much DPS I've been doing. So yeah, do you ever want a snake bit rush pretty fast? Call me man, I am a beast. If someone puts a bomb inside me and says I have 5 minutes left to live, you're damn right I'm gonna do 16 snake bits.